Hello, um, before I start this video, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is JP or John Paul, but some people know me as Janelle if they follow my Instagram. Uh, pretty much, I am a second year university student and I'm studying animation at AUB. This video is going to be about how my first year went, what happened, and also if animation is for you. Before I came to this university, I took a gap year beforehand. Um, that was mainly, it was a mix of COVID and also I didn't want to be doing online talks. I really wanted to learn how to draw better because I feel like I wasn't good enough essentially to start it. And so that's why I chose to do a gap year. Applying to AUB, you needed 120 UCAS points, which is about a BBB. I didn't do too well in terms of some of my subjects, but I did really well in fine art. I think the main thing that you would have to look for, or the thing that a lot of the university course leaders are looking for, is your portfolio. This is what I submitted. It's not too good as you can see, but it got the job done. If you want to stop and look at it, feel free to do so. Um, yeah. It's quite rough. <laughs> I did rush it a bit, so yeah, take it as you will. I think one difference that I thought was AUB didn't give interviews. They just don't didn't give it uh, at all that year. So if your application is taking a long time, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it because um, they're just quite slow when it comes to the actual process itself. For my first year, I stayed in campus halls. It's a bit expensive for what it is, but in terms of convenience and just overall quality, I would say it's worth it in terms of the first year because um, it was quite chill. You didn't really have to wake up that early. One of the main issues people had in campus halls was that it was quite far away from the town. Uh, it's not too bad if you go out in the morning. People went out clubbing, the buses are quite, not irregular, but they're not as frequent as you think. I think one thing that people didn't realize or didn't fully understand before going into university was that the entire first year was done traditionally, meaning that everything that we did or drew was on paper. I think in terms of the way they did it, it was quite good because I felt like it was so difficult for me to try and actually start doing animation. I think the way that it's structured made it quite easily digestible, if you know what I mean. Um, I found myself understanding the fundamentals a lot easier as, as the year went by. And I feel like it was very good in terms of if you didn't know anything about animation, it is a great starting point. But overall, the course if you prefer doing 2D or traditional um, work, then it is pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little show reel of all of the animations I did for first year. We did a variety of different exercises, practicing our fundamentals and getting to learn the animation process in general. I think I learned a lot, especially when it comes to thinking about how to approach an animation. I feel like the uni gives you a lot of creative freedom when it comes to doing what you want, as long as you tick the boxes for what they're asking in the brief. Overall, I think the way that they did it was really good and I don't really have too many complaints about it. Quickly going to the tutors, I think that they were really helpful and friendly through the entire time I was there. They would always be there to give you a helping hand or some guidance when you needed it and also definitely take advantage of all the resources that they can offer. This is a reminder that you are there to learn, so if you are constantly doing it your own way and not taking much advice from the tutors when they are trying to help, you won't go very far when it's trying to succeed in the course or in the industry. You need to get used to getting constructive criticism and making sure that your pride and ego doesn't get in the way. AUB did offer stop moment 3D workshops first year. The only annoying thing about it was that they were only 3 hour long sessions meaning there wasn't really much you could explore. If this is something you're not interested in, it is fine as these lessons were optional so you didn't have to do it if you did not want to. Animation isn't for everyone. I know a lot of people that did the course and some of them just dropped out because it was too straining for their hands or it was too repetitive. 
A lot of your time will be spent at the computer room constantly flicking pages upon pages of paper and clicking the same two buttons for the next couple of hours. And that's after drawing multiple frames of in-betweens and don't even get me started on planning annex sheets. The tutors would also encourage you to record your own reference videos before you start animating. They are good for visualizing key poses and getting the timing right for your line test. If you can't get someone else to do it, you just have to get over it. Looking back at it now, they are kind of hard to watch, but at the time they were very useful. I think you have to really enjoy the process of actually animating if you really want to succeed in this course. There was just some people that um, couldn't handle it, but it is rewarding if you put in the effort. Apart from animating, other things we would do is essay and drawing classes. In my opinion, the studio drawing classes didn't really help. You're pretty much just in the animation studio given a drawing task and left to do your own thing for the next couple hours. But I do think the life drawing sessions were good as it helped me a lot with anatomy and made me understand human figures better because of it. There are two life drawing studios depending on which group you're in. I was in the crab but both pretty much offer the same thing so don't feel like you're missing out on anything because it's not that bad. During the winter time the weather in Bournemouth can get really bad and very windy. As you can see my umbrella broke from how strong the winds were so make sure you buy a folder for all your animations and a durable umbrella. Don't be like me and buy a cheap one from B&M and have it down you on your way to a lecture. In terms of essay writing, we did two essays and a thing called uh, visual influences. The essays itself were quite relatively straightforward. Our lecturer Paul, I think he's the lecturer for all of the years so he's pretty good with everything. He's quite reliable in terms of getting feedback at the right time. The first essay we did was 1,500 words, so it wasn't too bad. I wrote about the visual changes in character and background design for the TV show DuckTales, pretty much comparing the 1987 version and the reboot. If you don't like writing essays like me, it was really good as we didn't have to write more than 2,000 words for the entirety of first year. Just a bit of warning, his lectures are a bit insane, but they are very funny. I don't want to spoil anything, so just be prepared for that. For the social aspect, I feel like AUB has a really strong community, at least for animation. The majority of everyone I met on the course has been very kind and friendly and would always be down to talk. One thing that I struggle with is approaching people as I'm quite introverted, but overall it wasn't too bad as I managed to make some really good friends while doing the course. Last one I would mention is the school trips. We were supposed to go on one every semester, but due to teacher strikes we were only able to go on two of the three which is a bit unfortunate. For the first trip, we went to Lulworth Cove and did landscape studies for future background designs. And the other one was at the new forest where we drew animals which were at the park. The lectures are a bit obscure when it comes to asking why we are doing what we are doing, but it will make sense as the weeks go by. To wrap things up, pretty much don't stress too much about it. It's your first year so you should enjoy it as much as possible and just be eager to learn. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them or if you wanted to, you can DM me privately. I should get back to you ASAP. All of my progress is shown on my Instagram, so if you're interested, please go check it out and possibly give it a follow. I'm constantly trying to improve, so if you have any criticisms or have any feedback that you could give me, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.